University. to study for bs computer science degree i completed my degree in october 2022 and uh, yes then i'm here and apart from that i am i would like to add here that i am the founding member of uh, kavish platform which is a ai based art platform uh, that incorporates or equip the, the young art community of pakistan to sell their art uh, and uh, deploy ai art which is the contemporary art of the modern venture yeah. you have qualified the gb yes written examination for the civil services yes sir okay you give us introduce gb gilgit baltistan to all of us what is gilgit baltistan gilgit baltistan is actually a autonomous autonomous region and it has the semi provincial status uh, in the constitution of pakistan right now it is not a province of pakistan Uh, but it is located in northern part of pakistan and famous for its tourism and its scenic beauty and uh, apart from that this region is also known for its peace loving people and diversity in the community in terms of religious diversity and uh, people from different sects and different uh, historical backgrounds living in the area how many what what, uh, how, what is the population of gb it is about 2.8 million uh, 2.8 million 1.8 million so it's uh, my bad about 1.5 something like right? yes and what is the total area it is about 20 27000 meter square yeah recheck karenge yeah. aap i'll have to recheck it sir tell us the highest peak in gb which are the highest peak uh, there are five peaks actually 8000 is mountain in the 8000 mountain category of worldwide There are five peaks that are in Pargibi. Uh, the, the most famous one of which is K2. Then Gashabroom, uh, Gashabroom one, Gashabroom two, the Bodh Peak, and Naga Parbat. These are the five peaks. How many universities are functioning in GB? Sir, can you repeat your question? University. How many universities have been established in Gilgit Baltistan? I know two of them: the Karakoram University of Gilgit and the University of Skardu, which has been recently, you know, inaugurated. Mm-hmm. I guess a year back. Tell us something about administrative structure of Gilgit Baltistan. Administrative structure of Gilgit Baltistan is actually falls under the federal government of Pakistan, and it has a CM uh, which is elected by the uh, provincial assembly uh, of GB. Apart from that, there is this. Uh, uh, there are administrative uh, the administrators of the GB councils are basically uh, you know selected from again uh, the federal government through this GB competitive test. and uh, apart from that uh, they have a gilgit uh, council which operates uh, under the uh, prime minister of uh, pakistan along with six members uh, from the gb uh, gb assembly and six members from the uh, parliament of pakistan and that are they are chosen by the prime minister of pakistan welcome to csp's academy for css pms preparation سی ایس ایس پی ایم ایس تحریری امتحان کے تمام مضامین کی آن لائن اور آن کیمپس تیاری کے ساتھ ساتھ سبجیکٹ سلیکشن اسائنمنٹ چیکنگ کلاس ٹیسٹ ماک ایگزام انڈیویجول ٹیچر ڈسکشن اور فیڈ بیک سیشن کا انعقاد کیا جائے گا اس کے علاوہ ایف پی ایس سی کی تجویز کردہ بکس سے بنے معیاری نوٹس اور سی ایس پی پبلشر کی بہترین بکس مہیا کی جائیں گی رجسٹر How many districts are there in Gilgit Baltistan? Fourteen districts, sir. Five fall in the Baltistan division, five fall in the Gilgit division, and four of them they fall in the uh, in the another division that I I've forgotten the name of. Okay, you be at the gateway to Central Asia. Yes. Tell us how. Well, GB is a gateway to Central Asia because it connects the uh, China, China, Chinese region to the Central Asian region, and uh, it has been this hot spot or the central location for the old Silk Road, uh, from where basically uh, travelers could travel from China to India, and vice versa. So that's how it is. Why they call it Silk Road? 
Industrial Code because it was from in my humble knowledge, what is the sir. Ancient code? Uh, it in my humble knowledge, sir, it was actually uh, uh, I guess the prominent route that connected two regions, the Asian region and the, that of the Central Asian region. So it was a prominent trade route. That why they call it the Silk Route. That is all I know. Uh, Sophia, mm, why do you like Lionel Messi? Oh, Lionel Messi. Well, I think Lionel Messi. Uh, I appreciate him for uh, for how he has grown into uh, such a competent person. His journey is something that really inspires me, because uh, if we look at it, uh, he was a kid who was actually having growth hormone issue. So from um, there onward, he had this huge and humongous journey of becoming international star, and how he achieved all those feats is what actually inspires me. So what is your view on hormonal treatments? Do you think they are good? Yes, absolutely. I think if you have a medical issue and if uh, medical science or doctors prescribe you so, you should go for it. And you are doing a lot of machine art. Yes. There's a lot of politics going on between what we call the real art or the human art and the AI art. Uh, which do you think is better and why? I think uh, it changes something to be embraced. The world is changing and uh, AI is the next, uh, I, we can say the AI arena would rule the world in the next uh, decades to come. So rather than being aversive of it, I think we should be uh, embracing it. There is an issue definitely when it, uh, when we talk about, you know, the originality of the, of the work as well as when we talk about that uh, either it would, you know, uh, more like suppress those art makers who do it manually and there is definitely plagiarism issues, authenticity issues. But I think uh, scientists and researchers are working on it. And I think change for me personally is something to be embraced and to be looked forward to. And there are different possibilities in it. If Even if we don't want to use computer vision to actually be incorporated into the field of uh, arts, there are many other possibilities like in medicinal science, medical science, the possibilities of imaging and what it can do to actually develop uh, the field are worse. And they should be uh, you know, taken advantage of. What do you know about bitcoins? Bitcoins is actually cryptocurrency. is actually the currency that is now in use. It actually talks about, uh, we can say, soft or more like digital currency where there are bitcoins, ethereum and you know polygon blockchains that use these currencies to trade. But this is still not accepted by the government of Pakistan. So it is in process. Maybe in the years to come it would be accepted. Uh, primarily because of the reason that it uh, is not, uh, you don't know where the money comes from in in the stream of in the stream of work. So without knowing the channel, there are security and other concerns that should be addressed before actually accepting it. And what about their impact on environment? Bitcoin's impact on environment. Well, ma'am, I am unable to answer this question. I'm sorry. Join CSPs, where we believe that your dreams are our mission. So let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge, confidence and resilience required to emerge as CSS stoppers. Contact us on our given WhatsApp number 0316-570-1593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk You have been writing as freelance academic research writer. Could you tell us about the latest article you wrote and what was the topic? I wrote about dentistry, dentists and how they, they actually are facing challenges in, in the contemporary times and how they should, as a dentist student, how you should make sure that you provide best services and uh, take care of the challenges as well. So it was more of a general article that I wrote. Because you're not a dentist. Yes, I'm not a dentist, <laughs> but I had to like write a general article on how you can, uh, you know, uh, mm, more like expedite yourself uh, with the coming technology. So it was more of a tech related thing. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, Sophia, can you tell us about the salient features of Karachi Agreement? Um, sorry, I'm unable to answer this. Okay, you're from GB. Are we really tapping the tourist potential of GB? I think so. To be honest, if I'm to answer this question, there are two possibilities. One being the potential that GB holds is definitely not uh, you know, used as much as it should be. There are many possibilities like the Alpine tourism and the Buddhist tourism. They could be used to actually generate quite a huge amount of revenues like other countries like Switzerland and countries like India too, a neighboring country. 
but at the same time with the kind of resources we have i think in living uh, limiting ourselves to those particular resources if we are to look at the situation we can say that we are trying to make at least best possible use of what we have uh, you have mentioned uh, gb council yes sir uh, gb and kashmir there are two councils in pakistan they are considered as governments over the governments uh, do you think in a democratic country such institutions should exist well, uh, personally i think that such institutions would definitely hinder the process of democ- democracy or uh, in the in the region and they would not allow the locals to actually be uh, uh, actually be effective or active in the political or the governance uh, governance environment so in my opinion i would say that such a, uh, to to a certain degree the, you know keeping in view the status of gilgit baltistan because it is a semi government uh, semi government territory or a semi province status right now having semi province status so in that particular sense i can say that somewhat it could be accepted but on a larger scale i think that the, the locals should be given more chance to actually participate and come forward and take the hold of the region so what are the job responsibilities for an assistant commissioner Uh, well uh, he is in charge of the uh, of the district and he has to look district or tehsil tehsil sorry sir okay he is in charge of tehsil and he has to look forward to uh, has to take care of the price prices in the region he has to make sure that the security situation is also in in control and alongside he is also responsible for uh, making sure that the government uh, departments are working efficiently and in accordance with the directives of the government okay thank you sir Give your career a boost with CSS PMS preparation from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on-campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markaz, Islamabad. Register now at zero three one six five seven zero one five nine three. Thank you, sir. So here, well, uh. What is a federal federal what is federalism federalism is when the center actually holds the value and it is a centralized a, a centralized concept where the center holds that most value and it is responsible for governing the the what is unitary form of government unitary form of government i am unable to answer that sir can you tell uh, what is princely state princely states are states actually um, that more like have some autonomy but uh, on a larger scale they are governed by the center or a body like in russia there are princely states like in uh, india there used to be princely states 565 of them 565 of them actually why realism uh, supreme court or court are a very important part of the constitution in federal states well, they hold the utmost degree to actually uh, direct the gov- uh, government's uh, um, di- authority and to actually look forward to both civilian and government matters so i think there should be a body that should be monitoring all these activities to hold the government accountable and to ensure that transparency in all other government procedures are going in line with the directives or the stated constitution what is concurrent list in constitution of pakistan can you repeat the question concurrent list in constitution of pakistan no i am not able to answer that sir and uh, what you know about uh, principles of directive principles of state policy i'm sorry sir i am not able to answer okay. that question okay as my last question you go ahead what you know about code hammurabi You have any idea about the deterrence theory of punishment? No. You read criminology? Yes. You read criminology? Yes, I did. Actually, but I am. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have not been able to revise the subject, and it's been like. Okay, it's the last months. thing. What? Uh, do you have any idea about the Indian Penal Code? Indian. Indian Penal Code, yes. Indian Penal Code. I guess it is a code that, if if I uh, would allow me to guess, it is a code that that works in in the Kashmir region. Thank you Sophie. Chale and let's uh, finish this formal session. Let's have an informal discussion. What is your assessment about your performance? Well, I have not been able to actually to be honest I have not been able to you know revise my optionals and compulsories. I've been keeping track of the current uh, current affairs. So I've got a lot of work hard work to actually enhance my knowledge base. So That is an area I'm working on. देखो सोफिया बात ये है कि you are at a crossroad of your professional life, career के लिए, ठीक है? You have qualified the written examination. 
दिस इज अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम पर एफ जी बी में पहली दफा सिविल सर्विस का एग्जाम हुआ सेकेंड टाइम तो वो आप उस ग्रुप में आ गए जो सेकेंड टाइम में आ रहा है तो टूडे इफ यू आर इंडक्टेड टू मारो यू हैव गॉट द फ्यूचर इन द होल ऑफ दी सर्विस कैरियर टिल यू कैन कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम टूडे स्टैंडर्ड टिल द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी ठीक है एंड यू विल ग्रो देयर इन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विसेज तो बात यह है कि नाउ यू नीड टू गेट सीरियस यू एक्सेप्ट द चैलेंज दैट नाउ दिस इज अ चैलेंज आई हैव टू परफॉर्म रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन तो डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटेजी होती है आप बैठे हैं सोच रहे हैं लिख रहे हैं यहाँ तो इट इज ए कॉन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन यू एंड द पैनल तो वो फौरन ही जवाब देना पड़ता है ठीक है ना यू आर गुड बट आई थिंक यू नीड टू इम्प्रूव यू आर गुड इंट्रोडक्शन को थोड़ा सा रिफाइन करो अपना ठीक है ना बिकॉज दैट इज द पिच विच यू विल सेट फॉर डिस्कशन इंटरव्यू इंट्रोडक्शन बेसिकली इट इज ए सेल्स जॉब यू आर सेलिंग यूर सेल्फ टू दैम द बेस्ट वन You have to keep it in view. Well, I'll keep that. Okay, you have got a nice personality, intelligent, or communication skill are very fine. You need not to worry about anything. You have got the confidence level when you speak. The demand state, करती है. ठीक है ना? When you have knowledge, you speak well. जब कोई चीज़ नहीं आती तो बंदा. Natural. Yeah, I'm, I, I understand. So, that. Yeah, I understand. So, वो ये है कि you need to come in a state of state of preparedness. अपने आप को हालते जंग हालते तैयारी में ले आओ. And invest at least a month, महीना डेढ़ महीने में हो जाएगा तो ये आठ घंटे रोज इन्वेस्ट करो पिछले न्यूज पेपर उठाओ सारे अंग्रेजी का कोई अखबार ले लो नेशनल इंटरनेशनल न्यूज उन सबको रिव्यू करो अपनी नोटबुक बनाओ समथिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है ना तो इसमें ये होता है कि फोकस करना होता है हमने कि यहाँ हेडिंग यहाँ वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट बस चार चार पाँच पाँच टॉपिक पे लिखो चाहे वो एनर्जी क्राइसिस ऑफ पाकिस्तान है फूड क्राइसिस ऑफ पाकिस्तान है जीबी डेवलपमेंट है जीबी सोशल लाइफ है सी पैक है जो भी टॉपिक आपने तैयारी में किए उन सब को जो है ना वो आप इस पर लिखिए ताकि यू आर दिन इन पोजिशन टू मेक ए रिव्यू रोज़ाना उठा के देख के ऐसा रिविजन कर लो ये तुम्हारे दिमाग में बैठ जाएंगे पार एटी परसेंट इस पर आएगा तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू वट यू है ठीक है ना ये साइकोलॉजी क्रिमिनोलॉजी तुमने लिखा है और किसी ने नहीं लिखा फ्री लांस एकेडमिक रिसर्च तुम दो साल से कर रही हो ठीक है ना ये बाकी ये पर्सनल ट्रेड्स तुमने लिख के दिए हैं ये बी एंड बी बी एस सी एस तुमने लिखा है ठीक है ना तो एवरीथिंग रिटर्न हेयर इट विल बी वेरीफाइड फॉर यू ट्वेंटी परसेंट न्यूज पेपर होता है तकरीबन करंट इशूज क्या है करंट नॉलेज क्या है उस पर बात होती है ठीक है ना Yeah, Sophia, you have a very good personality. You have the confidence. Uh, you see, for an art interview, this is nice dress to wear. But if you are going for a job dress, I would recommend wear a monotone. The scarf color have the same color of your dress. Okay. That looks more professional. You know, um, knowledge gap. You know, whatever you write, you'll be asked on this. so keep it as concise and focused so that the questions are also limited you have a then advantage jitna proliferate karoge utne sawalat aayenge cooking pe bahut sare sawal aa sakte hain uh administrative structure kyunki aapke zehen mein kashmir tha because you are from gb so you thought people will ask you question today we haven't but those questions will come so you should know more about kashmir the status of uh, the indian held kashmir you know china's position un position all those things you should be very well abreast with you know winning horse you do well i wish you all the best thank you, thank you the meri professor or madam ke baad uh ek to jaise hi aapne madam ke baad mere se intro mein baat karne shuru ki to aapki energy level jo hai wo bahut kam ho gaya ऐसा लग रहा था आप सिर्फ अपने आप से मधम की आवाज़ में बात कर रही है ठीक है ये नहीं होना चाहिए आप माशा आपकी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स बहुत अच्छी हैं उसको मेंटेन करें बाकी नॉलेज गैप है उस पर आप मेहनत करें और आप आपने ओके ऑप्शंस थोड़ा सा देख लें आपने इतना ज़बरदस्त आपकी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स हैं आपका नॉलेज बहुत अच्छा है बट ऑप्शन सब्जेक्ट्स को प्रिपेयर करके जाए फिर नॉलेज गैप छोटा सा है उसको फिल कर लें तो थोड़ा सा टाइम लगेगा रिवाइज कर लें सर ने भी कहा कि आप एटी तो अभी अचीव कर लिए 
लेकिन नाइनटी उससे अब आप जा सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू